All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So today we, and actually Wednesday, we're going to be looking at some Toon card. As you guys know, I am not the biggest fan of Toons. I don't like them at all. I just kind of feel like they don't really interact with your opponent with playing their Toon Kingdom and some of their Toon monsters that attack over you. I mean, they're just kind of like more defensive, glorified Watts, you know? But what synergy do they have? What combo pieces do they have? Well, be surprised that two cards that we're going to be reviewing today and on Wednesday may have giving Toon some actual combo pieces, some synergy, some actual purpose to being played than just being dirty and just simply attacking your opponent directly with, you know, Mask and Gemini up, protecting their destruction and just poking your opponent while they struggle and scramble to at least get rid of your Toon Kingdom or else they're definitely going to lose. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and today look at Red Eyes Toon Dragon. This card has actually been revealed and uh, been out in the OCG, I believe, for a cool minute. It's just... Uh, I never got to it. I mean, it's actually in uh, Shining Victory in, uh, in the OCG, and I just never got to a chance to just review it. I'm not the biggest fan of Toons, and I kind of skipped over it, but uh, with Tangem, with the card that we're going to be reviewing on Wednesday, I was like, you know, let me go ahead and go back, review this card, and review that card on Wednesday, and they will somehow come together to form maybe possibly something different for Toons to do. So, this is Red Eyes Toon Dragon. I know, after a while, it just seems like... um. Are just making cards for uh, for tunes that they haven't done in the past. Of course, this card's in Shining Victories, which is the blue eye set, but there's been Toon Blue Eyes for freaking forever. I mean, come on, that was like one of the first tunes. You know, it's just like, oh, I made a tune version of your blue eyes, kind of boy. But uh, yeah, so here's Toon Red Eyes. Uh, so you got Joey's monster. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and look at this, and hopefully it brings more to the table than just R Red Eyes could do, because Red Eyes is just a normal monster. So, you know, what can you do when you take a, a normal monster, turn into a Toon? What do you do? So uh, Red Eyes Toon Dragon is a dark dragon Toon effect monster, level 7, 2400 attack, 2000 defense. So Red Eyes stats, Red Eyes level, Red Eyes attribute, uh... He's dragon, of course, but he's also a tune, so it's kind of like a pseudo type, kind of like a tuner, I guess. I never, I really never realized that, but you know what? I never really looked at tunes because they're not my cup of tea. Uh, anyway, moving on, let's go ahead and look at the effect. So, just like usual, for some reason, they love to put this. Uh, it cannot attack the turn it summoned. Uh, being a level 7, you know, it's going to be pretty hard to summon just tribute wise. You got to use two tributes to summon this, but hey, hey, I'm not sure if you guys know this or not, but if you do, then you should keep this in mind. Uh, you can summon this with the, the, the black stone. You can. So, there's that. that's the way you want to do it. You can. Go ahead and just summon black stone, tribute it off, stop your summon red eyes, two dragons, simple as that. But it cannot attack turn, it is summoned, period. So, let's summon, normal summon, what pendulum summon, doesn't matter, cannot attack turn it summon. So, it kind of sucks, kind of hinders it, but I guess they just didn't want you to just be like, uh, pendulum summon all these tune monsters, because they can use the pendulum mechanic, you know, you, you can go ahead and do like, maybe like tune, uh, uh, tune magicians. Pendulum summon, you know, set up your scale between like one and, and eight. Pendulum summon a whole bunch of tunes and then attack your opponent directly for game in one turn. So maybe they wanted to balance it out with tunes. They're like, hey, they're going to attack you directly. They have pretty high attack. So they're, the big ones, they're not going to be able to attack you to turn it to summon just to make sure that you just don't get outright sacked. Because that probably would happen if these tune monsters can attack turn to summon. Uh, of course, while you control tune world, uh, and your opponent controls no tune monsters. Generally, they won't unless it's kind of like a mirror match or something, which generally doesn't happen. I don't think I've ever seen a tune mirror match. This card can attack your opponent directly. So, tune monsters, you got tune world. They don't have any tune monsters to get that direct attack in. Uh, uh, but m interesting enough, more like recent tune monsters instead of old ones. You know, even though tune world gets removed from the field or destroyed, the monster still stays. So, you know, you don't have to worry about having tune world on the field. You can just go ahead and just. I don't have Toon World or Tin Kingdom, but I'm still going to go ahead and summon Stone, tribute it off, and summon me uh, Red Eyes Toon Dragon. More power to you, and it won't die. So, uh, But then, its own individual effect, because it seems like generally Toon Monsters have their own individual effect, so how good is this one? Once per turn, you can switch summon one Toon Monster from your hand, except for uh, Red Eyes Toon Dragon, ignoring its summoning conditions. Yes, people. So, the Toon Monster summons more Toons to gain up on you. It's not really an effect you would think that Red Eyes Toon Dragon would have, but hey, that's the effect they gave it. And that's a pretty powerful effect. Uh, just summoning another Toon Monster. Good thing that they said, except for Red Eyes Toon, because then it could loop itself, because then you can go summon Red Eyes Toon Dragon. Red Eyes Toon Dragon effect by summoning a Toon Monster from my hand in the summon editions. Alright, Red Eyes Toon Dragon. It doesn't say you can only use the effect of Red Eyes Toon Dragon once per turn. It just says once per turn, so that means that if you summon another Red Eyes Toon Dragon, you can deactivate the effect. So it says, except for Red Eyes Toon Dragon. So you can't go Red Eyes Toon, summon Red Eyes Toon, summon Red Eyes Toon, summon, Red Eyes Toon, summon, Red Eyes Toon, summon another Toon Monster. No. 
but uh, <clears throat> it can summon any other Toon Monster from your hand, ignoring summoning conditions. Whether that be Toon Gemini L, Toon Mask, uh, you know, Toon Blue Eyes, whatever, Toon Summon Skull, whatever you want, it can summon another Toon Monster from your hand. Is that it's interesting that I didn't say uh, uh, Manga Ryu, but hey, fuck him, am I right? Am I right? No. But uh, yeah, so summoning a Toon Monster from your hand, ignoring summoning condition, and even the Toon Monster that we will be reviewing on Wednesday, so it's kind of like a two-parter, uh, to definitely, most definitely go into a powerful combo piece. Uh, with this card, and uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and view that card on Wednesday, so I guess we'll go ahead and cut it short for now, but it's a pretty good card, it's a pretty good card, like, uh, especially when you can use it in tandem with, uh, with the Blackstone, but if you had to tribute to, I mean, it kind of hurts, you can Pendrum summon it, uh, so you, if you want to go ahead and do like a Toon Magician deck, because that's a pretty powerful engine when it comes to Pendrum summon, you can also do that as well, but uh, yeah, I mean, the plays are there, so, and just being able to special summon any Toon monster, except for Red Eyes Toon, from your hand, ignoring summoning conditions, even the, uh, a higher a higher level one that would require some tribute or some outside play, that's nice too. So, tell me what you guys think about Red Eyes Tune Dragon. Uh, is it a fantastic tune? I I put it up there, you know. I I put it up there with like you know Tune Gemini Elf and and uh, Tune Dark Magician Girl and Tune uh, <clears throat> uh, Mask. I think it's like Mask Horse or anything. One attack directly and get to draw a card. You know, I put it up there in uh, in their category as well. So. And then, of course, the two monsters we will be interviewing on Wednesday. So I look forward to that as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this card review. Tell me what you guys think about Red Eyes Toon Dragon. Tell me what you guys think about just the Toon deck in general. That's it. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Uh, just, you know, play my Toon King. Well, I've even seen people go to the extreme of playing... I can't remember the card, but it's like this card that puts a counter on spell, uh, continuous spell cards or face-up spell cards. And they can't be destroyed by uh, card effects as long as they have counters, so they would just play a whole bunch of that with Toon Kingdom, it's like, ah ha ha, you can't destroy my Toon Kingdom, and I'm gonna have my Toon just attack you, attack you directly, and you're not gonna be able to play shit or do shit, you know, uh, I mean, of course you can spin away the Toon Kingdom with Castell, but of course these monsters don't die like the old monsters, but at least I can't attack you directly anymore, but who's to say that I just won't get another Toon Kingdom and then play it and then attack you directly and finish you off anyway, so, you know, there's give and take when it comes to it, they've definitely been, uh, boosting the Toon archetype. Uh, but I, like I said, I've never been the biggest fan of them, but maybe if they get more combos involved with this card and the card I'm going to review on Wednesday, maybe I might actually see something uh, outside of just being tunes. I mean, they're already, they're always going to be annoying with their spells and traps and just their monsters, but hey, maybe I'll get to uh, see them in a different light. So yeah, tell me what you guys think about the Toon Archetype in general and the Red Eyes Toon Dragon. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And uh, yeah, see you guys on Wednesday with the other Toon Monster that I want to review and uh, put this two-parter piece together. All right, people. Thanks for watching.